then we are going to be having a B, C, A or C, B, A. There's no more other ways for me to arrange them. So they are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. What I have calculated coincide with what I have counted. Okay, at least for this case, it seems to be correct. But this is not what that is happening here. Do you realize? What that is happening here is a, is a scenario where, for example, this C here is B. We are looking at an A, B, B scenario because there are four identical yellow color lights. There are three identical green lights, two identical red lights. We are looking at an A, B, B scenario. So I am going to try to replace all the C here by B and let's try to count again. But, okay, please take note of something. This B and this B, they are supposed to be exactly the same, okay? But just so that we can continue to trace what I have replaced, I am going to replace this B by a red colored B, but the two Bs are actually the same, okay? And just before I replace this, I'm going to recount this again with you, but by breaking down my process into smaller parts so that we can trace the details of whatever that is happening. So I'm going to consolidate this as a A, something, something. And this will be something, A, something. And this will be like something, something, A. So I have three possible ways to arrange. If I were to put A first, A second, and A last. Which means that for here, right, I can be placing my B and C. Here I can be placing my B and C. Here I can also be placing my B and C. So if I can place my B and C, it is like arranging B and C at these two positions, right? So it is doing another permutation. So what is the number of ways to arrange B and C here? Two factorial. So this will give me a two factorial. B and C here, this will give me a two factorial. So assuming B, C here. Uh, assuming B, C here or C, B here, it is going to be another 2 factorial. So we have 1, 2, 3, 3 times of 2 factorial, which gives us this 6. Okay? So now, now let's, let's try to apply whatever that we see here to a smaller scenario. So I'm going to replace all this, okay? I'm going to replace this by B. I'm going to replace this by B. Uh, C here, I'm going to replace it by B. This I'm going to be replacing. Here I am replacing and here I am also going to be replacing. So I've replaced all the B. Can you now see, okay, if the B and the B are the same, okay? If the B and the B are the same, are you, do you think there are going to be six possible ways for me to arrange A, B, B? So you must what? be able to see that this and this, they are the same thing. A, B, B, A, B, B. Which means that I'm getting one arrangement. Okay, it's not two arrangements, one arrangement. I'm getting one arrangement here. I'm getting the same arrangement here, which means that there's a flaw. Because I've calculated using A, B, C's scenario, that gives me a six, but there are actually three possible ways of this happening. Three, not six. There's a flaw in my calculation. How can I resolve this problem? Look at this. Look at this that we have just formulated here. This was where the B and C was, was changed. So this B was changed, this C here was changed to B. If this C here was changed to B, I don't even need to count. Do I still need this two factor? I don't need this two factor because there's, there's nothing for me to permutate. There's just one way to arrange B and B because they're identical. I cannot tell the difference, which means that I actually don't want this. I don't want this. I don't want this because, you know, it is this, it is, uh, it is supposed to be this. So I shouldn't have multiplied by two factorial, which means what I'm going to do is, I'm going to remove the effect of B, C by doing a divide by 2 factorial, which is going to be this divided by 2 factorial. This gives us a 3. 6 divided by 2 factorial, it is 3. And now, at least number-wise, it becomes correct. This gives us our second building block, which is when we are dealing with identical objects, like here. Okay, I wrote here, if we are dealing with objects that are seen to be identical or indistinguishable one from another, then we just need to divide by the number of identical objects factorial. Because we are trying to remove those, those objects that we previously thought they are different, so we permutated them, but they are actually the same, so I remove my permutation for them. It's very, this one is very, very easy to identify and apply based on condition. For example, like this particular case here, four yellow lights, okay. I just need to divide by four factorial. 
three green lights. I just need to divide this by three factorial. Two red lights. I just need to divide this by two factorial. So this is this divided by four factorial, three factorial, two factorial. This is equal to, this is equal to one, two, six, zero, zero. 